Know-how or know-how is a term for practical knowledge on how to accomplish something, as opposed to know what facts, know why science, or know who communication. Know-how is often tacit knowledge, which means that it is difficult to transfer to another person by means of writing it down or verbalizing it. Dubitsky's and Gail Sarkane 2017 states that the performance of know-how transfer is affected by accuracy of the stated aim, applied teaching, learning and assessment methods and both internal and external environment characteristics of the stakeholders involved in the process. The opposite of tacit knowledge is explicit knowledge. In the context of industrial property now generally viewed as intellectual property or IP, know-how is a component in the transfer of technology in national and international environments, co-existing with or separate from other IP rights such as patents, trademarks and copyright and as an economic asset. When it is transferred by itself, know-how should be converted into a trade secret before transfer in a legal agreement. Definition of industrial know-how Know-how can be defined as confidentially held, or better, closely held, information in the form of unpatented inventions, formulae, designs, drawings, procedures and methods, together with accumulated skills and experience in the hands of a licensor firm's professional personnel which could assist a transferee, licensee of the object product in its manufacture and use and bring to it a competitive advantage. It can be further supported with privately maintained expert knowledge on the operation, maintenance, use, application of the object product and of its sale, usage or disposition. The inherent proprietary value of know-how lies embedded in the legal protection afforded to trade secrets in general law, particularly case law. Know-how, in short, is private intellectual property, which can be said to be a form of precursor to other intellectual property rights. The trade secret law varies from country to country, unlike the case for patents, trademarks and copyright for which there are formal conventions through which subscribing countries grant the same protection to the property as the others, examples of which are the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property and the World Intellectual Property Organization WIPO, under United Nations, a supportive organization designed to encourage creative activity, and to promote the protection of intellectual property throughout the world. A trade secret may be defined as it is secret meaning it is not, as a whole or in the way its parts are arranged, known by or readily accessible to people in the field that would normally deal with that information. It is commercially valuable because it is secret. Reasonable effort has been made to keep it secret for purposes of illustration. The following may be a provision in a license agreement serving to define know-how. Know-how shall mean technical data, formulae, standards, technical information, specifications, processes, methods, code books, raw materials, as well as all information, knowledge, assistance, trade practices and secrets, and improvements thereto, divulged, disclosed, or in any way communicated to the licensee under this agreement, unless such information was, at the time of disclosure, or thereafter becomes part of the general knowledge or literature which is generally available for public use from other lawful sources. Sources. The burden of proving that any information disclosed hereunder is not confidential information shall rest on the licensee. Show how Show how is a diluted form of know how since even a walk through of a manufacturing plant provides valuable insights to the client's representatives into how a product is made, assembled, or processed. Show how is also used to demonstrate technique. An enlarged program of show how is the typical content of technical assistance agreements where the licensor firm, if one is involved, provides a substantial training program to the client's personnel on site and off site. Note, such training does not imply any grant of license. <laughs> Disclosure agreements There are two sets of agreements associated with the transfer of know-how agreement, a the disclosure and b the non-disclosure agreements, which are not separately parts of the principal know-how agreement. The initial need for disclosure 
is due to the requirement of a licensee firm to know what is the specific, unique, or general content of the know-how that a licensor firm possesses that promises value to the licensee on entering into a contract. Disclosure also aids the potential licensee in selecting among competitive offers, if any. Such disclosures are made by licensors only under non-disclosure or confidentiality agreements in which there are express undertakings that should the ultimate license not materialize, the firm to whom the disclosure is made will not reveal, and equally important, by any manner apply, any part of the disclosed knowledge which is not in the public domain or previously known to the firm receiving the information. Non-disclosure agreements are undertaken by those who receive confidential information from the licensee, relating to licensed know-how, so as to perform their tasks. Among them are the personnel of engineering firms who construct the plant for the licensee or those who are key employees of the licensee who have detailed access to disclosed data, etc. to administer their functions in operating the know-how-based plant. These are also in the nature of confidentiality agreements and carry the definition of know-how, in full or truncated part, on a need-to-know basis. <laughs> <laughs> General know-how Outside usage in terms of industrial property, know-how is viewed as procedural knowledge a term that also reveals its nature. Employee knowledge Under English law, employees have a duty of good faith and fidelity until their employment ceases whereby only the former still applies. It is sometimes unclear what forms, know-how, that was divulged to an employee in order to carry out their functions and then becomes their own knowledge rather than a secret of their previous employer. Some employers will specify in their employment contracts that a grace period will apply to know how that starts when a person leaves them as an employee specifying exactly what information this includes would increase the likelihood of it being upheld in court in the event of a breach i.e saying when your employment contract is terminated you must keep all information about your previous employment with us secret for four years would be difficult to support because that person has to be able to use the skills and knowledge they learn to gain employment elsewhere See also Procedural knowledge Tribal knowledge